Hey guys, Zach with Blade HQ, and uh, we've got something extra special and exciting right now. Sitting down with Rick Hinder of Hinder and Ice. How's it going? Good, Zach. Yeah, good. having glad a great you. show. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. glad. I'm glad it's going good for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys can see he's got a, a shiny little thing going on here. We got some shiny things right here, and uh, I'm just gonna kind of let Rick have the floor because I'm excited and I want to learn what's going on. So. Tell us what we got. Okay, what we have is uh, the full track. I'll just come right out and say the uh, the name of the new uh, the new model of knife that I came out with. So what the full track is is it's an upsized half track, and this started like a year ago, almost as a as a joke, kind of. You know, everybody the, the the half track is a smaller knife, right? And uh, a little over two inch, you know, two and a half inch blade, and uh, uh, it's been a great great seller for us and a really popular knife. And but it's, uh, we've had some guys who are like. Man, it'd be great if we had a full-size version of that. You well, yeah, know, I mean, because hinder is not hard use, right? That's yes. what you get with a hinder, and so yes. bigger knife makes sense, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So it's you know, I started kind of uh, joking around about we, we we actually started calling it full track, okay? You know, because a full-size half track. So yeah. and uh, so it it, it it was born about uh, you know five months ago. I was like, I'm going to start on this design. It's going to be really cool. You know, people been bugging me about it. So when's the full track coming out? You know, kind of as a joke. And um, so I started working on it. And the full track, the original full, tra full track was going to be a four inch blade. Okay. Really thick and, yeah, you just, know, just and, and I'm like, uh, I, want, I, I want a, uh, you know, I kind of slowed down from that. And all of my, my knives are about hard use, but it's also about wearability, yep. ergonomics, and a knife that you can carry. You know, the, the most important knife that you have is the one that's on you at the time when you need it. So. So the full track got sized down a little bit to three and three quarter inch blade length, which is still a pretty substantial yeah, knife, it's still a good, obviously. Good blade size. And uh, and so everybody can definitely see the lineage of the half track in the full track. There's a few things that have been changed about it. The uh, when I sized it up, the the shape of the underside of the handle was changed from the half track. A lot of people here at the show uh, notice some of those changes. Yeah. Uh, the big thing is, is I kept the the thickness the same as a three and a half inch XM18. Okay. So um, instead of going to the thickness of like my XM24, which is a thicker knife, and what it did was it made an absolutely great feeling balanced knife. I haven't absolutely, even held it yet. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, that does so feel it, really yeah, good. Yeah. That feels yeah. really good. So it's uh, uh, you know all the ergonomics. You know, my knives are known for the ergonomics. Yeah. You know, uh, that comes from my uh, my uh, firefighter service. You know, I was a firefighter for 10 years. And uh, the one thing that I found like on, on the fire ground, you, your tools cannot work against you. Yeah. You know, a tool is an extension of your hand. Uh, uh, you, 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 us firefighters, when we were out, people were like, oh, you carry this, this big tool. Uh, no, I've got a, I'm dragging an inch and three quarter, a two inch line, uh, a charge line, a lot of weight. SCBA, heavy fire gear. As I said, just the fire gear alone. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I learned a lot about design and uh, design intent in knives. So, so you're talking to us about ergonomics, you're talking to us about some slight changes. I feel like you're teasing us though, because there's something extra special. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just kind of teasing, you know. <laughs> yes, there's, there's definitely something extra special with this knife. There's a couple things extra special. The number one, and I'll kind of, that leads into the number two. Uh, it, this model, I chose this model to debut my new triway pivot system. Now, what the hell is a triway pivot system? Well, here we are. So, like I was explaining earlier, there's there's different schools of thought on the pivots on folding knives, right. and the pivot systems on folding knives. You have a bearing system um, that a lot of companies and a lot of makers use. You have uh, phosphor bronze washers that a lot of companies, you know, like Chris Reeve Knives uses phosphor oh, yeah. bronze. Yeah. And you also have nylon or nylatron that a lot of companies, like myself, I use nylon uh, washers. And each system has its has its its drawbacks and its positives, plus and minuses of each system. And depending on the use of the knife and what you're using it for, you may want one system over the other. So in the past, it's always like, okay, we have this, we have bearings, we have washers, this. Now you can make it your own, yeah. which is the mon my mantra, Rick and your knives, is make it your own. Exactly. And so now. I'm able to present to the customer a knife that they can make it their own. They can choose what they want in their pivot system. Cool. If they like bearings, you got bearings. If you like the washer systems, you got that. Also, if you're out in the field and 
and you have bearings in your knife and you end up in a real sandy area or whatever and the bearings lock up, you get a bunch of crap in them. Right. Now in the field, you can be able to change out your bearings. So right. show me how this thing works. Okay. I gotta see this. Okay, so there's also an onboard tool. That's the second part of the teaser. Yeah, which is, again, <laughs> awesome. That's the only word I have for this. <laughs> so this tool, this tool locks in, it's actually an extension of my HMBS system that I released last year. And what it, what it is, is it, it's captured on the, on the standoffs. So the, the tool comes off the knife, obviously you see very easily. I have two different size of uh, hex, one for the handles and also for the, uh, for the pivot. So with this tool, you can be able to take, and we'll just take it apart here. So you unscrew the pivot. We'll get it, we'll get it so far. And then you just kind of take the pivot out. So these are obviously oversized, oversized heavy duty, heavy duty screws. So there's the handle screw. Doing this like this with it facing away from me is a little is bit different. a little bit different, yeah, exactly. Yeah, as long as I'm a fumbling, feel like well, I'm I'll fumbling. Tell you, the anticipation's killing me because, like I said, we talked and seen this a little bit, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take apart the knife. There we have the internals of the knife. I have the, uh, uh, the nylon washers in there right now, which I like. So we take the blade off, pop this pivot out, pull that out. Now we're going to change to bearings. Let's put yeah, bearings let's, let's there. Let's run bearings. Yeah, We've seen the, the washer, so let's run the bearings. Yeah, so we'll take it, put the pivot back in. The pivot is an anti-rotation pivot. Okay. So we slip the bearing in. See if I can pick this blade up. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. I hear these hinder knives are sharp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I've ha I have done that before yeah. on, a, on occasion. <laughs> So we put it back together, and now it's just a simple matter of taking the pivot, like fumble my fingers. Screw that down. And now this is this is the uh, again working upside down. Yeah. We get that get that started in. That one got one more. I don't know if they're timing it. Somebody was asking me yesterday, how long does it take to, to put the new, you know, bushings yeah. and stuff in? I don't know what our time was here, but there we go. Now it's on bearings. That, that so it's a, is really it's a, neat. It's as simple as that. That's really neat. Put and everything uh, self-contained. Everything self-contained. Now, also, I'll add these. I have a pocket underside of the handle. That's what I was going to ask, yeah. Yeah, so with the pocket on the inside of this handle, these can be housed inside the handle. So you can house your washings or your or your, your washers or your bearings inside. inside the handle. So you got your tool, you got all your extra bits. Yes. And you can just, I mean, you can, like you said, you can field change it if you yep. wanted to. You can field change it in the field. You don't even have to think about it. You know, again, if you're out, if you're out in the field and you end up have a problem with either system, yeah. or you just want to change it to another system, yeah. you can just sit down on a log. Literally, in a couple minutes, we, we it probably took me just a couple minutes. Yeah. Change it out, and you're good to go. You so can also cool. clean everything out. Yeah, it's exactly. Very easy. You take it apart, you can clean them bearings so out. Yeah, no problem at all. Exactly. That's exactly. amazing. This is a really, really neat design. I'm Thank excited you. about this. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm not the only one who's excited about this. People around Blade Show were excited too. Absolutely, you know, and this was uh, uh, this is the first award that Rick Hinder Knives has won. Wow, congratulations! Um, thank you, I, thank you. I didn't you. know that. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Now I have won uh, uh, Knife of the Year awards yeah. through, through my collaborations with Kershaw and Kershaw. ZT. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that was great. Uh, uh, you know, that was uh, the collabor best collaboration, and and those other awards have been awesome. But this was really cool because cool. this comes from Rick Hinder Knives. Yeah. And it's uh, most uh, innovative American. So, that's great. Uh, and that's to me, that's a prestigious award. That's one of the better ones to get because what drives the industry? Innovation. innovation. What drives companies? Innovation. Yeah. Well, and as a maker, right, to be recognized by other makers for innovation is yeah, a good yeah. thing. And it was great to have a lot of the, you know, because the booth holders are the ones that that uh, vote on yeah. the award. So it's it's almost like a uh, appreciation from the other companies and stuff. And exactly. it, was, it was nice to have other companies come up and say, hey, that, oh, what a great idea. That's neat. So the, the real question that I have, and I'm sure the real question most of you guys have, when can we get one? 
I am starting on them tomorrow. Okay, literally. Start, starting tomorrow. St literally tomorrow. <laughs> as soon as I get home. I was going to take a couple hours in the morning and rest up. Oh, no, no. I got way too much excitement <laughs> going on. I'll probably be up at 6 o'clock tomorrow getting steel on the water jet. I can tell you we we, we all appreciate uh, uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to, I'm going to start cutting blades tomorrow. Great. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping by late August, maybe mid-late August, to have Great. the first ones out. Cool. Well, guys, keep your eyes on bladehq.com. We're going to make sure to figure out how to get some of these and get them out to you guys. I'm going to have to have one in my pocket, so <laughs> there'll be one there at, the, at minimum at Blade HQ. So. Fantastic. Well, one thing, so much. One oh, thing, one thing yeah. I want to add, too, is this system is also going to end up uh, across my other models. So platform-wide. Yep. Platform That's a huge wide. announcement. Wonderful. Yep. Yep. Well, there you go, guys. Right from the horse's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Right. Thanks, Thanks for a lot, being here. Zach. Appreciate, Appreciate it, it yep. man. And thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out our Blade Show 2018 playlist for all of the Blade Show coverage.